Hi there, welcome to this tutorial on wrapper classes in Java. In this tutorial, let's look at uh, various things about wrapper classes. Let's look at how uh, you can create wrapper classes, uh, I mean, how you can create instances of wrapper classes, and look at various utility methods which are present in wrapper class. And we'll end up uh, discussing about an important concept called auto back boxing which is very important when it comes to the wrapper classes. Uh, let's now start with an example. What what really is a wrapper class? A wrapper class is something which is like we usually talk about numbers like int 10. This is actually a primitive variable sorry int number. This is number here number 10 let's say. Number 10 here is a primitive variable. The thing about the primitive variable is there are no methods which are available directly. So I can't say number 10 dot do something or something of that kind. And if you create two different primitive variables, probably they would have completely different memory, or even if they have uh, different, uh, if they have the same value. However, uh, Java provides wrapper classes which provides which are same as the primitive values so this is an integer value 55 however you can use this wrapper classes to do a varied range of operations so first thing let's look at the various kind of uh, wrapper classes which are present in java the wrapper class which we are looking at right now is a integer wrapper class this is same as the int uh, here uh, you can look at the wrapper class is using here the integer constructor to create the number here We are using the string constructor. So the good thing here is if you have a value string value Even that can be converted to a number using the wrapper class integer similar to integer There are wrapper classes called long also uh, long is as we know a longer form of int so int long similar to the long primitive there is a capital long uh, wrapper class and when it comes to floating numbers we have a wrapper calls called float uh, as you can see you can use a double argument or a float argument or a string argument so here we are passing a float in a string the value of the float in a string and that can be used to create a number as well uh, other than the normal num numeric uh, wrapper classes, there are specific character wrapper classes. This is representing the uh, value C. So this is similar to the char data type. And you can also have a wrapper class for boolean. So you can create uh, a boolean passing in a boolean value or you can create a boolean passing in a string value you can see that anything which is true so if i pass in true 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 any of these three values it would return a value true anything else gives a value false so even if i say something like some string the value which will be stored in b4 would be false so anything other than uh, equals ignore case true uh, would give a value of false so these are the different uh, wrapper classes which are present in Java. Uh, it's very simple creating a wrapper class instance. It's the same as if you are creating any other class, the new operator and the name of the wrapper class and the value that you would want to create. The good thing about a wrapper class is it provides varied range of constructors. As you can see, you can create an integer using a number or a string. And you can see that you can create a boolean also using the boolean value or by use passing a string value. So this is very useful when you would want to convert a string value uh, into a boolean value. Now that we got a basic look at the uh, different things, different wrapper classes, what we'll do is we'll go on and uh, look at uh, a few useful methods inside the uh, wrapper classes. Now let's look at a few useful methods which are present inside the wrapper classes. So let's say I want to create a uh, like integer uh, from a string. I can use the value of method and I can pass the value of the thing to the thing. 
So now this would create an integer. Actually, this will not be 7. This is actually 111. So this would be uh, int number, let's call it. Number would have a value of 111. However, if you can also create values based on binary. Uh, if you rep uh, remember, uh, there is a binary form of representing numbers where I can say 111 is actually uh, one, like the way we do it is 1 into 2 power 0, 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 2. This would be actually 7. So if I want to create uh, a number using a binary representation, I can pass in 2. So here it will use base 2 and create the values. The value which would be printed if I run this program would be actually 7. So the value of method is useful. You can actually use other bases also. Let's say I want octal representation, then it would I can pass in a value of 8 and so on. Uh, the other uh, useful method which is present in uh, you can see here the value of method being used of, of. you can also say the integer dot int value is also like the int value is also another useful method which is present inside the wrapper classes uh, on an integer value I can do a dot int value like you can have any other thing you can have a float you can have anything else and you can call the value method and it would actually return the primitive so you can see that integer dot int value returns a primitive value and it can be stored in here and similarly you can there's a value called there's a method called parse int which helps us to parse the value inside a string so now what it does is here I'm using I'm passing a comma to so this would parse uh, using binary if I this was the value which was present uh, which was if, if I remove the parameter 2 then it would use by default a base 10 so this would return a value actually not binary decimal 111 uh, so these are also a couple of useful functions which are present useful methods which are present inside the wrapper classes the other useful method which is present in a wrapper class is the two string method you can convert any wrapper to a string representation by using the two string method actually there are methods called two hex string and two binary string as well which help you to convert a number to hex so here it would print 8 but this binary string if you look at it this would print uh, 1000 because the value of 8 in binary format is 1000 and you can also convert it to octal so the value of 8 in octal format is the all these methods, the two string method, the two hex string methods, two binary string and two octal string methods are very useful to do. The last example which we are looking about wrapper classes is a concept called auto boxing. What happens is in the earlier versions of Java, uh, if you look at this, there's a value called 10 which I'm creating, which is a new integer of 10. In earlier versions of Java, things like this were not allowed. So I'm doing a 10 plus plus. It's as if I'm thinking of uh, the integer, it's like I'm declaring int 10. In the earlier versions of Java, because 10 is not a primitive, but it's actually a class, this wasn't allowed. But in the uh, like latest version of Java from Java 5, this feature is allowed and this feature is called auto boxing. This is called auto boxing. So what Java does is Java would internally take care of all the stuff that needs to be done to get this value executed however the most important thing is uh, all the wrapper classes are immutable so the uh, what happens here is the value of 10 is not incremented but actually 10 plus plus creates a new wrapper variable which would return back a, a different instance of a wrapper variable so uh, that's about auto boxing uh, in this tutorial, we learned a few things about wrapper classes, what are the different wrapper classes, utility methods in a wrapper class, and uh, how what's auto-boxing. Uh, if you are interested in more Java tutorials, there are a varied number of uh, Java tutorials on our ch channel. Feel free to check them out. Until next time, bye. If you like this video, show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.